I've been without four players here in the early part of the season. Just how big of a challenge is it to weather some of these early season games without some of your big guns in the lineup? It's a scary time in Pittsburgh. Breakdown, decision making, evaluating. Rust, Malkin. Sounds like Galchenyuk isn't any closer. I think the first two lines are going to be okay. I think it's the guys behind them. The talent that they still have in that lineup, they're going to be able to score. If from the Penguins' perspective, you obviously hope they just cure themselves and turn it all around. You know what I mean? <laughs> like in one night. I get the sense that everybody's buying into how he wants them to play. You're seeing it now, and they're listening to Sullivan. You know, I think it was something to the tune of if we concentrate on details defensively and simplify our game, then the offense is going to come. We have enough guys to score. He's right. Good job. The final score here tonight, Winnipeg four, Pittsburgh one. I think this was the first of seven and 12 for you guys in terms of games. With that and the injuries, do you feel it's helpful to continue with nine defensemen on the roster versus having more forward depth just here to practice and play with? Well, those are decisions I think that Jim and our coaching staff and the hockey ops will make over the next few days. The Bens, of course, without Nick Bukestad, Evgeny Malkin, now Alexander Galchenyuk. The Bens certainly have had their share early on of the entry ball. Penguins have 12 players 25 years of age or younger. They also have eight players that have played less than 100 NHL games. Here's Crosby fighting up. Jack's coming towards the net. Drop it in front. Quick shot by Gensel. He shoots and scores. These guys are all good players, and they can all play in this league, and they're capable of being impactful on the game. And that's why they're here, and that's why they're in our lineup. This puck now is just a land easy. Land easy takes a shot. And back in front, score! And the Pittsburgh Penguins are going to complete a perfect back-to-back. -back. This team has come together very quickly, led by the youngsters that are in the lineup. Thanks, boys. Let's keep going here. Interesting that they felt like you were close to me in training camp this year, but he feels like you're kind of just gaining more and more confidence as you go on that you belong. What is kind of helping you get that confidence in yourself that you can be a player at this level? Um, I'm not really sure. I think just more experience probably is the biggest thing. Um, you know, more reps, you get more comfortable and uh, get to know the guys a little better. So that you know, playing with great players makes it a lot easier too. Thank you. Yep. It had been quite a week for rookie Sam Lafferty, making an impact right off the bat for his hometown team. But not everyone was on the roll. With a roster full of young players, assistant coach Mark Recchi lent some veteran advice. You're gonna have a good one tomorrow. I can feel it, You're right there. It's like I know I got to be better, but like it's, it's right now I'm just like... Oh, you get in your own head. I know, I was there. Chipping. Yeah. Yeah, Being, really you're not confident, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm working hard now. No, yeah, you're working hard, yeah. We believe in you, so keep going. So on the whistle, we go back, you got a pocket play or it's here and a bump, you guys are gonna go down two on one. All right, at the top of the circles, go down there. Yeah! That'll play, that'll work. Woo! Yeah, he's good, man, he could. Yeah. Oh, high and wide, you saw! Oh! <laughs> the Pittsburgh Penguins roll back into town right now in the midst of a three-game winning streak. Meanwhile, this Colorado team are the only team without a loss. They are 5-0 on the young campaign, and they're going to be a tough opponent tonight for the Pens. Let's relax and play here. Right back on comes Nieto with a pass across, and Galbert scores! Are you kidding me? Penguins going to get that intensity level back up again. Let's just stay within ourselves and play the game the right way. Oh! Oh, and then he went down, and he is taken up. Sorry, guys, F you. Are you serious? Watch it. You know, normally I would say no, it's going to die down after a while, but he's too close, maybe not. 
You got the blender going now. You just never know how it might come off the hinges. I got Gancy. That's it, Zach. That's up. I don't know about that. Hey, what the is that, dude? Oh! Hey, let's pop one here. Let's go. Go, go, go! They get a chance here. Walking in, going with a backhand shot. It's Crosby, and he scored! And Sidney Crosby, a full on four goal, ties this game for the Penguins. You're going to be in the highlight reel for a bit, going in for the Sally. Nice, Gensie. Here's Gensel. Score! And a boy! Rolls on him. No! Okay, we're going to overtime. I know, I heard that. That was pretty funny. He gets me on the board. And and this could get real fun here, partner. And now it is nudged back out for the carry on by Tanev. Lafferty moving up with it. Tanev turns to the outside. Tanev fed one out. Another difficult game against Marc-Andre Fleury and the Vegas Golden Knights. The Penguins move up the standings, and they're starting to get closer to being number one in the National Hockey League with two more points in the bank. Yeah! Come on, guys! Wow, that's some quick reflexes by Tristan Jari. Quick oh, by Fleury! What a save! Come on, boys, come on! Get it behind them, man. Hey, Sam, Sam, let's go. Lay behind them. More Crosby. Crosby, great pass, the tank takes the shot off the iron! Easy there, Flower. Well, that's why Flurry gives those posts loving all the time. What a save again! Oh, this is thrown. I got turbo. One on two. Orquist, wrist shot stopped by Flurry. Orquist goes sliding right through the crease. Flower, thank you! Gang, 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 gang! Oh, I like that try. Left wing to Zach Aston, reason to score this game, going right to the man, he runs into Flurry. Whistle sounding here. We got a penalty coming up. It's going to be against the Penguins. Zach Gasterese going hard to the net. Yes, there's collision, but that's hockey, man. That's boys being boys. Wide open net for Stastny, and he scores. Tic tac toe for a slam dunk. All right, boys, we got back here. Get back, hard work. They'll have to come back and climb the ladder here. Adam Johnson turns. He gets a shot in on Flurry. Step in. It's on the front porch line there. Down is Flurry with his helmet on. No mask and no glove and no stick. Hey, yard sale or what? Boys, it's Chris and rules now. Oh! What a hard working shift here by these guys. Wow, they're winning on here. Holy, you're so lucky. I'm surprised you keep your bucket on there. This has been awesome the last four or five minutes. Both teams are just emptying the tank here in a 1 0 game. No! I'm ready. Gensel, so fucking shooting, denied, and again by Flurry over the roof of the goal. Look at what's in front of Flurry's net. There's sticks, there's gloves. This is incredible. Sporting good store. Well, bad luck. What the puck! Kyle's in with the net empty, takes the shot, and he scores. Boys, that's a key situation. That stings right there, Mikey. Anybody else, else, else. A 6-3-0 record follows the Pens to the Sunshine State. Their five-game win streak, of course, snapped Saturday night in a 3-0 loss to the Vegas Golden Knights. Awaiting them in this one, the Florida Panthers. The Cats have earned points in five straight coming into tonight. OK, guys, we got to make sure we're not in the wait and see mode, all right? Let's be respectful of this group. They've got some injuries too. Let's go out and let's dictate the terms. And we have to get pressure on these defense. We gotta use their aggression against them, all right? Let's have a good start. It's the two captains at center ice, sticks down, puck down. We're underway in South Florida with the Penguins kicking off this three game road trip. Now Simone, left wing for Bluger. Has a man with him, Gensel down the right wing. It's Bluger near circle, curls and drags across for Gensel. Back for Bluger, he shoots and scores! Strawman, long shot, and score! Crosby for Gensel, bottom of the far circle, cutting towards the net, centers in front for Hornquist, shoots and scores! Patrick Hornquist puts it home, and the Penguins have cut the deficit back to one. Johnson makes the shot, enters a left time last up, rebound the post by Aston Reese! Oh boy, how does that not go in?
Well, there definitely was a feeling the Penguins may have had one more in them to get I that had that game. feeling, too. The chances were even, based on our calculations. There wasn't a lot of ice out there, but we had some opportunities. You know, we hit a few more posts. But I love how our team's competing. It didn't go our way tonight, but we're playing hard. Can you hear me? You can? Jose! No, you can't. Crash for a clear. Woo! Here we go, boys. Here we go, boys. Bring him up. Sit. Gensel across. Simone then. Gensel backhand. I tried forcing that backhand. That backhand to you. Here's Kucherov tossing one towards the net. They score. Got him. Put him net. Here's Hanneman shot off the outside of the cage. Hanneman turning with it again. Wheels toward the front. Back in. He what a show! And the game is tied! Let's go! Alright, Sam, sick move. Watch yourself, 37. Get away, Harney. Yeah. Shut up. Yeah, I'm gonna come to the Jesus. Yeah, that's right. Good job. You guys are sensitive over there. Good shift, boys. Good shift. Pitch right around now, and it's Simone. He's got Crosby moving on to Crosby. What a play, Dom! Let's go! I was like in between one touching it and catching it. <laughs> I like barely got over. <laughs> barely got over. Will it be a two on one? No. A penalty coming up against the Penguins. Are you kidding me? Near Stamkos. Back to Hedman to drive. Scott! That's a pretty good call! Another chance out in front. Five to go. Latang to Schultz and drive. Directed, battled for, scrambled around in front. It wouldn't go, and the horn sounds. Boy, oh boy, that puck was awfully close to the goal line. I mean, very close. I hope this counts, man. They won't. They, they won't call the goal. If it's taking this long, they might go if it's taking this long. That's the only thing I'm saying. Like, they, it must be honestly that close where it's like millimeters. After video review, it has been determined that the puck never crossed the goal line. We have no goal. Okay, PK, I think you did a great job last game. I know we gave up a goal, but we only gave two scoring chances. The lesson that we need to learn from that last game is that, you know, we got to stay out of the box. We took four penalties, and some of those are, are preventable. I like the way we've been playing, our mindset, being aggressive, up ice and in our zone, and I think it's really helped our, our performance. So we've got to continue that this evening. Can you turn the lights on, please? Okay, guys, real quick, all of you are probably aware that we made a trade yesterday afternoon with Gutty. This is the hard part of our business. He's a terrific person and a good teammate. The important thing for us is to make sure that we just continue to gain the traction that we've gained here moving forward. We've got some healthy guys coming back in the lineup. We've played really well. We haven't got the results the last few games. I think tonight's a real important game for us to make sure we get the results, all right? Let's play quick, D. Move it right away, play quick. Hold the line, Dowling, fire, save me, rebound, Dowling, and denied by Murray again. Big save, big save by Murray with the left leg. Let's get on the puck here. Nick, your line. Chase him down. Here is Butte, that to the net, and it's stopped by Bishop. End to end action here. Sam Lafferty, Dom Cahoon, and Jake. Jake's got the right wing. Come on, Dom. And Bishop, okay. running over, Cahoon right in front, Lafferty. I was struggling a little bit in the last four or five games. I had suddenly so many chances and I just couldn't get the puck over the line somehow. When you play good games and you create those chances, I just had a feeling that soon it has to happen. Chase it! That's it. Skate with it. It's over Ross. Wrap around track. He scores! Yeah! That's it, Rusty. Nice play. Welcome back, Brian Rust! The Pens victorious 3-zip. Nice, Tom. Hey, boys, good effort in the first. Let's keep it going. Yeah. Yeah. All right, buddy. Clean diaper. Nothing like going trick or treating with a clean set of drawers.
Dad for duty. Dad duty. Equal parts trick and treat. And on this night, Jack Johnson got a little of both. Dad, will you want me to put your shoes on? Yeah. Well, we're going to go get more trick-or-treating, okay? And I'll get the wagon out for him and head on our way. Full oh, belt. Get you all suited up, buddy. Jack, you look great. <laughs> all right, you get Oh, do I? Yeah. Well, come on over here. I got the wagon if you guys want it, okay? Come on, guys. Okay, let's cross the street. Come on, Hermione. Well, it is a treat. We weren't home last year, so I didn't get to see him run around trick-or-treating and stuff, but uh, they're just now starting to get an age, too, where they both enjoy it. Yeah, that's it. There you go. Say thank you. Say, Boy, you say thank you. Oh, you can yeah. have another one. <laughs> All right, good job, buddy. I mean, honestly, I think that even though the kids are little, I think they do remember these times. Um, and our three, almost four-year-old, she's got, like, an amazing memory, so she'll remember this forever. She'll say, remember when Daddy was a Ninja Turtle? And it'll be awesome. So yeah, we love it. Yeah, hey, let's go get more. Yeah. It, okay, come on, follow Jackie. Jackie, can you ring the doorbell? Thank you. You don't think so? You say thank you? Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. You're very welcome. Yeah, it's everything but to have this time with the kids. It's, you know, things I'll never forget. And, you know, hopefully they remember dad going trick-or-treating with them too. You want me to carry that? You want me to carry that? You got it? Well, the Penguins come into Beantown at minus one key piece. Patrick Hornquist out long-term with a lower body injury. Brian Dubalin's status was up in the air as well. We can tell you he is here. He will play. Well, his wife gave birth to a healthy young boy named Braden yesterday. So congratulations, some dad strength following Dumo here into Boston. Wait, Dad. John. John. Yeah, don't be afraid to calm down. John Marino, the 22-year-old, grew up 40 minutes outside of Boston. Thanks, man. <laughs> two very different shades of black and gold. Two teams very pleased with their start. Osterak continues to fight, holding, shooting, and scoring. This has been goal after great goal after great goal. Come on, boy, keep going. Try and get a few shifts down to that end only. Yeah. They're in, baby. Here he comes with good speed, has a chance, skates on in, back oh. in. They're stopped by Halak again. Oh, good try. Good idea. All right, square, boy. Come on, those shifts now. Schultz with a shot that goes wide. Follow up and can. Chance for Cahoon. He scores! Dominic Cahoon! That was nice. Boy, go. Here they come. Oh, boy, Dom. All right, back. Quick up, huge step, breakaway. Oh, oh, he scores! Go away. Now this persistence is really paying off for the Penguins. They've kept their head up, their nose to the grindstone. Nice play! Nice play! Nice play! Johnson, all the way around the horn. Marino's got the puck now. That time! And the called here. This would be against Pittsburgh. All right, that's the last thing the Penguins needed. Did you get one? Second pass, all the way back to center. It's Marino out of the box for the breakaway. Marino toward the goal. Hey, first time you much better than that. Out of the penalty box and into the memory bank. You know, we've seen him work so hard. Really special moment and one that, you know, you dream of. And not many people get the opportunity to score a goal in the IHL. Even fewer get a chance to do it in front of their friends and family. So at the end of the day, like, this is the culmination and this is where it all pays off and it all becomes worth it. The name Marino conjures up many memories in Pittsburgh. So the rookie named John made sure to make one of his own. It was a night the Boston native won't soon forget. 
Being a Bruins fan, you know, growing up, that made it definitely a little more special. Just being in hometown, friends and family around, some of your really close friends, you know, that just gets the nerves going a little bit more. But uh, you just try to go out there and just play like it's a normal game. Being in the box, I mean, you're just kind of hoping that they don't score. And then, yeah, luckily enough, was able to get a good bounce coming out of the box. And I was kind of just thinking five hole or pull it back, but just kind of reactive and just happened so fast. It's just all smiles all around. I don't know how many texts and stuff, but um, yeah, I didn't have everyone's number, so I just tried to say thank you and appreciate everyone. You know, I haven't seen them in a little while, too. We're used to being together, you know, every day at the rink for practice, so being away from him for a little while and being able to see him, and uh, yeah, that was a pretty special moment, though, for sure. No, it's been pretty fun so far. I mean, they welcome you in pretty easy, so they've made the transition a lot easier than I originally would have thought, but yeah, it's been really fun so far. I don't think teams ever arrive at their quote unquote overall team game. I think it's a constant work in progress. I know this team has another level to it. We're going to continue to try to push the right buttons here so that we can continue to make strides and become a better team. Go, Mike, go, Mike. Turn out the lights, because the Penguins have won this game in overtime. You always have to stay focused and stay hungry for those games. You want to win as much as possible. It's way better when you also get the points right at the start of the season, because it's been harder and harder. Wow. They just keep continuing to impress. A total team effort again here tonight. Not gonna be there, Matt Murray. And the comeback kids have done it again. We've done such a great job for a long time here, just rallying around one another and becoming a team. My commitment to you is that I will be honest with you guys, positive or not positive, okay? And the reason is, is because it's the only way that we can win. You want to go play hockey in the garage? You want to go play hockey? Get, in, get ready? Hockey! Yeah. yeah, let's go. Wherever the ball is, he's going to shoot it. Yeah. Uh-oh, you're all right. Here you go. Shoot in the net. Yeah, goal! He'll stay out here forever. He's too. <laughs>